without any further delay, I want to bring up um, our special guest on the podcast tonight. I think he's just about ready. He, he kind of stepped away for just a second. He'll be back. There he is right there. So um, I want to welcome, welcome our special guest to the Junior Podcast, none other than the great Harold Varner Sr. Y'all give it up for Mr. Varner, y'all. Big deal. Hey, boy. Big deal. <laughs> hey, Roy, man, watch that great stuff, man. I know, right? I know, right? Man, thank you for being on with us tonight. How you doing, Mr. Varner? Man, you can't outdo the Lord, man. Uh, and I'm really grateful you even asked me, Roy, uh, to join you guys in conversation, man. Well, good, man. It's a pleasure to have you on. We, we've, we've had a chance to see your son play a lot on TV, PGA, PGA professional. Uh, Chuck, Chuck Ware told me to tell you to stop taking his money over at Chester Golf Club. <laughs> hey, hey, anybody can get lucky, man, you know? Anybody can get lucky. We're good. How you fellas doing, man? Man, yeah, we are doing great, uh, Mr. Varner. We've got, some, we've got some parents on here just we just appreciate you uh, blessing us with your presence tonight, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna ask you some questions, and we just want you to, to to bless us with any knowledge that you can to help us through this junior golf journey. Okay. Boy, I'm gonna I'm gonna start you guys off uh, uh, being selfish, and I'm gonna ask the Lord. Thank you for letting me join these fellows soldiers in uh, the game I love and Father God just load my lips and uh, any wisdom you can find in me Father God let me share it uh, in Jesus Christ's name my Lord my Savior. Uh, thank you bro. Amen. Amen. Thank you Mr. Varner. So Mr. Varner tell us about yourself before we get into some junior questions. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Man, I uh, love working, man. Uh, I've been helping people on cars for about almost 40 years. And my escape was golf. Uh, still my escape goat. Uh, that's my relaxation and where I find all my comrades and a big, 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 God-fearing man, uh, uh, you you can't outdo the Lord's grace, man. Right. Humble in every kind of way, and my hats off to anybody would take the time to reach back and pull other youngsters through, man. Uh, I'm I'm really honored to be even talking to you guys today this evening. Honored. Thank you. We 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 honored to even have you. And Miss Mr. Mr. Varner, where you where you born and raised at? Man, I roots is in Sylacauga, Alabama, raised up in Ohio. Okay. Been down here uh 35 years. Uh come down one winter. Uh one one February 15th with a snow shovel headed back to Alabama. Right. And a uh, guy asked me, what kind of dang shovel is that? <laughs> I, I threw it down and said, I went far enough, man. Right. I went far enough. Right. And, uh, man, just a humble man. Uh, love the game of golf, man. Good, good, good. Because <laughs> you, you cannot meet no better people, man, you know? Good. Uh, everybody's either trying to do it, doing it, or done done it. Right. Uh, that's pretty much uh, what hooked me onto the game. Well, good, good. And then, of course, you you, you got your son, uh, Harold Varner III, in the golf. T t tell us a little bit about that journey. How did you, <coughs> you get started in the game of golf? Man, that journey started because uh, I didn't want him to the kill itself. Uh, I had one of them big old pro bags. Right. Uh, I thought I could really play golf for him. Uh, and uh, I would turn my back 
and he done clammed up in that bag and got an eight iron out there. He had diapers on dragging it, trying to swing it. Wow. And I just got him a set of uh, Toys of Talk clubs, man, and that's where it started. I used to swing in the mirror, uh -huh. and I turned my back. He'd be at them Toys of Talk clubs, swinging in the mirror, posing. Wow. Like he'd have hit the ball a long way, and that's where it started, man. Good, good. And what was the, what was what was what was the experience like? You know, when when Harold was a junior golfer, um, what what was the experience like? You know, you being his, his dad and him being a junior golfer, what was that experience like for you? Man, it it was like uh, a journey. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it started off uh, really like a journey. Uh, I wanted him to be around people that, you know, that was pretty good people. Gotcha. And be around people that I could turn my back on them. And, and the seem, it, it's a journey, man. Uh, it, golf, uh, you know, it ain't no pop your finger game. Right. I never seen a game, the more I know, the more I need to know, even to this day. Right, that's key. That is key. The more you know, the more you need to know. And it's just a, a, a game. I don't know what hooks you in it. I think if you hit one ball, out of a thousand ball and it go exactly where you want to right. and high like you want to your nose open like a four barrel man <laughs> hey, hey hey you guys got to know about cars when i say four barrel it just hook you man yeah can't get enough i tell everybody uh you ain't got room for another love don't ever hit a ball <laughs> there you go there you go now let me now let me ask you this what are some of the things that you felt like you were really good at that that helped Harold get to uh, 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 an elite status. You know, what are some of the things that you felt like you contributed to his career? Man, um, you know, at first, love the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you yoke yourself with the, your Lord our father. Uh, I'm going to obliterate a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, and, and the whoopings, you know, um, when he did wrong. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I always made him uh, get that music to people's ears, no matter where they, where he was with me or not with me yes sir right no sir right you know that's music to people's ears uh just shows respect man right you know because you're walking around here you don't know where you're going where you're gonna be but you know you're just a spirit man right. and you got to stay in tune with that. That's uh, your footsteps is ordered. Right. And I try to instill, you know, your dreams as your scheme. I try to keep it a dream for him. Mm -hmm. You know, like, hey, man, when you get up and uh, get older, everywhere the sun will be, you'll be. Mm. Uh, uh, when he was practicing, I say, man, you got to act like that's you, you at the masters. Wow. You, you, uh, he's still dreaming about getting to the masters. Oh, he's going to get that. You know, <laughs> your dreams is your scheme, man. And, uh, uh, boy, boy, uh, it, it, I always, uh, kept him on the short game. Gotcha. Because no matter what hole you're on, 
uh, I think he even forgot a little bit of it, but you know, it can be a par five, you still get two putts. There you go. Be a par four, you still get two putts. Uh, be a par three, you still get two putts. So w what you need to do, you need to work around that grain. Mm. Uh, I, I, um, when I first started out, guy wouldn't even let me play unless I uh, took 10 lessons wow. of short game. Short game lessons, right. And uh, I thought that was a, a really good thing, a really good builder. Cause you're gonna hit some bad shots. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> hey, you go hit a whole lot of them if you me. I'm a snag a two tiger boy. I gotta be have a short game. Yeah, there you go. That's key. <laughs> now let me ask you this, Mr. Varner. When it, you know, as a junior parent, when your when your child is having a, a bad day, um, what 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 type of advice would you give to the parents to help the 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 tournament or, you know, if the kids are playing bad, what kind of advice would you give to the parents to help it to be a little bit more, more smooth? Because sometimes parents can get upset and they can have all this facial stuff and then it rubs the kids the wrong way. What kind of advice would you give the junior parents tonight? I would, I would uh, instill in my young that you, practice mm -hmm. and get mad when you don't hit a shot when you're practicing but when you go to play it's called play you know what i mean yeah like like you know when you're in school and they let you out on that playground yeah you so dang happy i mean uh your kid can't do no wrong he can't do no wrong in your eyes. And you got to let him know that, and it's from your heart. Right. If he's trying, uh, a lot of people watch me and watch Harold. I used to be on him so hard practicing, practicing, and taking everything serious like this chip is for the masters. Mm. This chip, chip is, but when he went to play, Everything's off the table. Go have some fun now. Wow. Let it go. Wow. Uh, you can't do no wrong. You can't hit no bad shots. And let it go. Have a short memory. Uh, you just got to make the best of everything you do. You like it or not. Uh, you, you know, the best thing about a golf is uh, you hit a bad shot. Yeah. You know what? You get to hit it again. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no matter what. That's true. No matter what. Uh, uh, don't don't put too much pressure on them when they're playing. Good. Uh, let them uh, go to the playground. Like when they go into a tournament. Mm -hmm. I used to disappear, man. I used to be a whole head. Yeah. Because I'd be drilling him when he practicing. Gotcha. Taking stuff serious. And then when they start uh, practicing and they start lollygagging with it, stop. Just stop. Just stop. Okay. Just stop. Might as well pick the clubs up, put them in the bag, let's go. Mm. If you ain't going to take it serious when you're practicing, how can you go play? Wow. Wow. How can, how can you go play? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know how hard this game is. Hard. Uh, it's hard, and uh, <laughs> they'll they'll get more out of it that way than any way. Good, good. Quick, and quick, quick um, you 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 told me, you told me a story, Mr. Varner, about think think uh, one of the kids, uh, either Harold or some one of the kids, uh, threw a club down. And uh, tell everybody what you what you what you normally do if, if the kids have a tantrum and they throw a club. What, what, what was your on throwing clubs and getting mad? Man, um, well, it was Harold. Yeah. And uh, one incident, Harold, you know, 
Uh, it, it cost some money to get them clubs. He threw a club. I don't know. He saw some old man or somebody. He threw his club. I saw it. I ain't say nothing while we was out there. Got home and I said, man, your golf is over. Whoa. Your golf is over for a month. Wow. You going to throw something I done spent my money on? You don't even want to play with him. And man, he was climbing walls, asking mama, talk to daddy, talk to daddy. And uh, another incident, um, I was helping a kid, he, he didn't got a college education, now he's in college now. Uh, took him around my friends, we playing golf, and my friends, uh, I went back one next weekend and friends said, that little kid you had with you, he was so acting up. Mm. And I told his parents, same thing, take his clubs away. For a month. And, and I'll tell you what, absent make the heart grow funder, man. Mm. Make them pay attention, man. Good. Um, but the biggest advice I would give, uh, it's kind of hard to say it where it is now, but it is where it is anytime. Don't see no colors. Mm. You can't carry the past. You can't let them carry the past. Gotcha. They got to be colorblind, man, mm -hmm. because, you know, I know it's some good black people. Right. It's some good white people. Right. Uh, the more you can get your your kids into Christ, he'll have a discerning spirit over it. And you know, the other thing, they had this game for us. Right. And uh, they, they know some shortcuts before us. But even the kids, these days it's harder to be accepted mm. in this game. Right. Um, that's why, yes, sir, no, sir. Mm -hmm. You know, cause you never know who looking at you. You gotta let them know that. Right. The kids can be walking around, walking around. I, I remember, man, uh, you guys might remember, I, he used to go in one of these clubs house and, you know, you have your hat on, I said, mm -hmm. take off your hat when you walk in. Right. We got to be a, 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 a kids. They got to be a higher standard in this game than some others uh, to be socially accepted in this game. Right. Um, and it's coming down and it's going equal. Mm -hmm. See, I got different belief, uh, I tell you guys, um, I, I'm, I'm a Christian, I love Christ, mm -hmm. but I still read between the lines and uh, I still believe that us as a people, right. we the lost tribe. If you read between the lines, uh, skin of the great bronze. Hey, I look in the mirror, look at my brothers, mm -hmm. separated at birth. Right. You know, we don't know who our brothers and sisters and our cousins is. Right. Once we know that we're family mm -hmm. and shunned all over the world, who else? persecuted all over the world. Right. Every time I read between the lines, it makes my spirit grow stronger. And man, my hat's off to anybody that give a kid like you guys are doing mm -hmm. a chance. You know, I did it in my little ways. Right. But Roy, uh, man, my hat's off to you, bro.
Thank you, man. Thank you. We uh, that's what you call being a light. Gotcha. And uh, uh, at your service anytime, man. Well, listen, a couple more questions for you, and I'm going to open up the lines. Um, who are some of your, who, so who, you know, I know you've been to a lot of tournaments and you've been a lot of pros out there. Who are some of your favorite tour players out there, besides your son, of course? Uh, <clears throat> Arnold Palmer. Okay. Uh, he the one that mesmerized me the most. Gotcha. Um, I, I worked for him for maybe six six years. Okay. Before he sold a little more than six years, mm -hmm. and uh, you know he. He met me, come in, and he wanted to be introduced to everybody. Okay. And he met me, and I told him my name, and, and we shook hands. I had some of the biggest hands he ever could <laughs> shake, man. My hand couldn't go around his hand. <laughs> and uh, two years later, I'm sitting in, there in the office, and he said, how you doing, Harold? Man, my mouth dropped. <laughs> hey, how can this man remember my name? Right. And uh, from then on, then I was just I had an awe at him because he, he, I went and picked him up one time, mm -hmm. flew in in that little jet up there in Charlotte, and me and another boy went and picked him up. He's the only one who got out the plane. Wow. And uh, he was just down to earth, man. Yeah. You know, uh, he didn't have no air about him. And, you know, he was genuine. Uh, yeah. That was my favorite golfer. Uh, yeah. And I had some, uh, a lot of ham bones, boy. Yeah. Uh, I had a boy, uh, he he had uh, left his clubs or somewhere, left them somewhere. And I was teaching my daughter how to play golf and, she had some powder blue clubs, uh, Jimmy Ray. Mm. Uh, and uh, I said, man, I'll give you a set of clubs. You know how they started clubs, they was plastic heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That boy wore my butt out, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he, he had the plastic clubs oh. singing, boy. <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know what? This game don't like nobody. Right, it, it, don't, it don't. It don't care who you are. Right? Hey, you run out there and think you got it one day. <laughs> yeah, to get you, Mr. Hey, Martin, that, Now, what's your, yes, what's your what's your favorite course or slash tournament that you've had an had an opportunity to go to with Harold? Um, Man, I'm gonna tell you, it's always been this Quail Hollow. Quail Hollow, yeah. And um, um, I'll tell you, the favorite one was when he went to Firestone. Firestone, okay. Is that's that where I was raised up at. In Ohio? Yeah, that's where I was raised up. Right. And uh, when I went there, man, and he made it to that. Yeah. It wasn't nothing but a party, man. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, everybody in uh, Charlotte's here said, they, this is my son. Everybody in Akron said, this is my son. Right. Uh, he, he, he everybody's son, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, well, listen.